friends welcome to civic room today we are going to see the important multiple choice questions in wastewater engineering the rate of bod is not governed by characteristics of sewage temperature of sewage bacterial population pressure of sewage the characteristics of sewage like ph value and amount of organic matter present will definitely influence the rate of bod temperature as the temperature increases the rate of bod will definitely increase bacterial population if bacterial population increases due to high oxidation rate the rate of bod will be increased therefore the answer is pressure of sewage well oxidized sewage will contain nitrogen largely in the form of nitrates if all the conditions being same 5 day bod as compared to 4 days bod is less because in fourth day most of the organic matters will be oxidized so that the fifth day bod will be comparatively lower than the four days bod when there is no recirculation of sewage then the circulation factor is 1 that is r by i is equal to 1 when there is no recirculation where r is the recirculated sewage and i is the total inflow of raw sewage presence of nitrogen in wastewater sample is due to the decomposition of proteins next question is if the moisture content of a sludge is reduced from 98% to 96% the volume of sludge will decreases by 50% between bod and cod the greater of two is cod because bod is defined as the total oxygen requirement to degrade the biodegradable matter present in the raw sewage where cod is defined as the total oxygen requirement to oxidize both biodegradable and non biodegradable matter present in the raw sewage therefore cod will be greater the next question is which of the following methods would be best suited for disposal of plastic and rubber waste we will be going with the option a that is incineration since other three options are open systems disposal of plastic and rubber waste may cause the release of toxic substances like methane therefore closed system incineration is the answer most of the bacteria in sewage are saprophytic saprophytic bacteria means which will absorb moisture and convert into their food next question is chlorine content in ordinary municipal sewage as compared to usual tolerable limit is always less chlorine is used in treatment of sewage to help grease separation because chlorine may break down the oily lipids and fatty substance hence it helps in grease separation soluble organics in domestic waste water includes carbohydrates proteins lipids in sludge digestion gas produced mainly is methane next to methane carbon dioxide will be produced in larger amount next question is sewage treatment units are designed for average flow only it is not designed for maximum flow since it may lead to uneconomical sections it is not designed for minimum flow since it may cause overflow therefore average flow only is the correct answer septic tank is a settling tank digestion tank aeration tank the correct answer is septic tank is not an aeration tank since it is a closed system therefore it is a settling tank and also a digestion tank therefore the correct answer is 1 and 2 thank you for watching our video for more videos subscribe to our channel